Good morning, I have some errands we're gonna do today. I need to go to Photosynthesis, which is this cool used camera store. I need some back caps for a lens that I lost the back cap to. And also I just need to get out of my house because I'm going insane. Other than going to the office and the mall, I've basically been on my couch uh, watching election coverage and they called it on Saturday and then yesterday I finally like processed that it was over and like I knew I processed that it was over because I was actually interested in watching other things instead of just watching the election coverage but today I feel like even though I didn't like I literally didn't drink anything I feel kind of like hungover on all that cable news which I'm not actually have a problem with cable news I listen to a lot of cable news podcasts um, for shows that we don't get here because I don't get it. I prefer MSNBC we don't get it out here we get CNN but I during the normal during normal times when you don't need an update like every second I podcast uh, Rachel Maddow and Chris Hayes and Morning Joe actually I've been like a weirdly I've been a Morning Joe fan since 2008 and even though I don't always agree with them and I kind of think some of the stuff is BS like I have I have legitimately listened or watched that show more days than not for the past 12 years which I don't know what that says about me but anyway so today I just feel like icky and I need to do something else so we're gonna go see if I can find this back stop back cap and really just what I want is to go check out the store that I've heard is cool but I've never went and looked at before and then maybe go to one or other one or two other cool places that are kind of around there and then I'll probably let you guys go and I'll finish my work day gross all right let's see what happens advertisement for this camera which is funny I didn't actually buy it here I thought about buying it here and then um, it was easier to get it on Amazon but there's other stuff that I need that I don't want to get on Amazon so I'm gonna try to get it today as you can see it's like a pretty big store photosynthesis miasuza um, photographia Coro e idea. I don't, other than photograph, I don't know what that means. I do not speak Bulgarian, but let's go inside. So I bought the microphone that I've been wanting to buy to get better sound quality, especially if I'm gonna have to constantly talk through a mask. I got the that cap and the camera cap that I need for my Nikon because one of my lenses I lost the back cap to at the same time that I lost the front cap for the whole camera and transporting it back is going to be a nightmare without those two pieces because I don't want to transport it with a lens on. So now I'm going to go upstairs and look at the photo gallery here. The store is super cool. Um, it was great just like seeing all the stuff instead of looking on Amazon. So I'm going to go upstairs and check out the photo gallery and then maybe sit and have a coffee in a cafe, I don't know. The cafe is, like, the store is really cool. So this piece is nuts. It says, Until Death to Us Part. The book Until Death to Us Part focuses on the unexpected role cigarettes played in Chinese weddings as a token of appreciation. It is customary for the bride to light a cigarette for each and every man invited.
There's literally no one else up here, so I'm just gonna take my mask off. Um, this whole exhibit is just so interesting. So like what I do is a lot is travel photography that are specifically editorial photos to go with um, instructions and to go with uh, like, you know, like Instagram photos, but I'm not like a super Instagrammer. So I actually made a video for my vlog coaching channel about like how like the types of photos you need to take that you might not think about to do um, like to write a travel vlog. But I don't really do the kind of like artistic photography. Even when I do it, I don't take myself too seriously at it. But I really enjoy it, and I should go to more photography exhibits and I should push myself further even if it's not the kind of thing I put on my blog or put on my Instagram. I should still push myself further because it's so interesting. Like this whole exhibit is things like it's negatives of photographs from the People's Republic of China that were found later by artists and reinterpreted and reimagined and, uh, and just displayed in different ways and it's so interesting. And even though I take so many photos it's like how often do i think of them as like art almost never it's always to like show something and i i just should do more artistic photography even if it's just for me for my own sense of creativity and purpose all right so now we're done with the art exhibit i love this store like i found the things that i needed i got a nice free art exhibit I'm gonna go check out the cafe. Like, what a lovely place. So that was lovely. I love tiny art museums. I love tiny art galleries and spaces where you just like wander in, get 15 minutes of ideas and beauty and thoughts and interestingness and then like I love, don't get me wrong, I love big art museums but I talk a lot on our podcast about how sometimes when you're in a foreign city you just want to do a little bit of art or a little bit of history and so something that lasts for an hour or in this case like 15 minutes can be so much more memorable and stick with you longer and it's more interesting than a big giant museum where you have to spend all of your time and energy and maybe by the end of your eyes are bleeding. But the cafe looks super cute but I didn't actually get anything in there because none of the people that worked there they were all outside smoking. And so we're across the street now. What I want to do is walk around this area but I haven't really explored this little tiny corner of town before. And so I would like to do that before moving on to my office. So let's see what else we can find. See that restaurant across the street, Mr. Pizza? Don't eat there. statue of a patriarch. Patriarch is like a bishop in the Orthodox Church. Um, I haven't been in this square in like two years. I can kind of remember the last time I was here, maybe three or four years. Like I feel like I should have a picture of it because we definitely tell people to come here if you're in this part of town. It's on my the Sophia website which I'll link in the description. We definitely tell people to come here. It's interesting if you happen to be staying near the area it's like a popular spot. Also, it has free Wi-Fi. The square has Wi-Fi, which isn't common in Sofia to have public free Wi-Fi. So it's actually really cool. I just haven't been here in a long time. And when I plugged in the address for the store and the taxi, I wasn't really paying attention. And um, so I'm really enjoying just having a day, not a day, but like uh, taking an hour to like just walk around and explore and see. It's been so long since I've been in the area. It's Do you ever 
kind of this like weird, very specific kind of traveler deja vu where you're in a city. It happens to me in either in two ways. I'll be in a city and I'll be like very sure that I'm heading to some place. Like, like, okay, let me explain this better. Um, like I'll be very sure or I'll get a feeling that the place that I'm about to come across is actually a place from an entirely different city. So I just got this weird feeling and it was in two ways. So I'm sitting in Sofia, Bulgaria. I love Belgrade, Serbia, and I write a lot about Belgrade too. Um, I write about Tbilisi, I'm not a huge fan, um, but I do like it. I think I don't understand it. Anyway, so I just got this really weird feeling that I was, I was walking down this street that's like, this like tram line, that I was walking down this like tram line street, that I was gonna walk, like the, the next block was this place. And then when I thought about that, like what the place was, it's a place in Tbilisi. So it's not here. And then I also keep getting the feeling right now that like I'm out in Belgrade and not out in Sofia. And it's like, it's not exactly deja vu, but it's this very weird thing where you like mix up places. It happens to me all the time. Or I'll have a memory and I'll be, th and I'll have to think really hard. Like I'll have a very specific street memory or something. If some place is not famous in a city, but just like a little corner. And then I'll have to, uh, the trains are going by. Uh, I'll have to like stop and think like, wait a minute, where was that place? And this, ha like the most, the time that this happened to me that was the most um, like significant was like I kept rounding this, in my memory, I kept rounding this corner and I couldn't figure out what the corner was. And then finally I realized, oh, that's a corner in Athens. Um, and I spent, I've spent about six weeks total in Athens, a month, a couple years ago, and then, or a month, anyway, I've spent about six weeks in Athens. So I love it, and I walked around a lot, but like, uh, it's just weird, it's like when you travel a lot, and you travel like, from place to place, so not just like, individual vacations, like sometimes they all start to bleed together, and it's lovely, but it's also like, very jarring that the world geography isn't laid out the way that it is in your brain. Anyway. So I love the old vintage trams here and I the new ones it's like I they're more comfortable but the vintage ones are just so much prettier to take photos of and I didn't realize that apparently this spot this block is jackpot for it I just got some really great photos I think I'll stick one up on Instagram but yeah if you love vintage photos this little area is definitely the place to be photos of vintage trams not vintage photos uh, when I first moved to Sofia, I thought it was so funny that Europe also had Black Friday. It's like an American Thanksgiving thing, like it's just a shopping day after Thanksgiving, but now it's become like this worldwide phenomenon. But here is the uh, first advertisement I'm seeing this year for the Black Friday sales here in Sofia. Okay, this is cool. This is Sveti said... Sveti... Let me just get the exact pronunciation. All right, Sveti said I don't know. It is one of the Orthodox churches in Sofia that was actually built in a former Turkish mosque from when the Turks were here. I, I'm not sure if before that it was an Orthodox church because some of them were Orthodox churches, then mosques, then converted back. But I haven't actually seen yet. So uh, this is like a perfect, perfect piece of luck. When I say I haven't seen it yet, I mean I haven't. I've been, I've been in like this area, I've seen it from the outside, but I haven't gone inside and looked and I would like to go ahead and do that today if it's open. It's very lively out here, I really am enjoying it. Like there's kids playing, this is a very, like I know, the reason I've been in this part of town before is that either I walked through it like a long time ago or I have friends who sometimes have stayed in Airbnbs that are near here. So like I've been down here, I've even driven down here, but I haven't had just like an afternoon or a morning where I just explored it. And uh, so it's, I just, it just feels really like just a perfect stroke of luck that the place I needed to go happened to be by this place that I've been wanting to go.
really lovely. I'm really glad that I went inside. Um, you can tell that this the ceiling isn't as restored as the rest of the church. And the, just whenever you go into an Orthodox church, you just see the most beautiful artwork. So 10 for 10, highly recommend. You can tell we're starting to get into more touristy part of town because this bakery across the street, like the advertisement is for Bulgarian traditional foods. So that could be for locals to know that come in, but most likely it's because this is kind of the outskirts of where tourists start to stay, coming from this direction, and they want to make sure that tourists come in and eat there. This area makes me sad. Um, for the first few years that I lived here, it was a super cool area with like old used books. So like booksellers would come in, they had like tons of used books, some in uh, Bulgarian, but some in foreign languages. And then they did this big project and they kicked them all out. And I don't, I think maybe they come back in the warm weather, but I don't know. The fact that they're not here now makes me think they all had to move on to other jobs or maybe it's Corona, but it used to be such a cool area and now it's like kind of stale. But these guys are a very famous statue and it's very popular photography spot to come in and like sit beside them and take a selfie with them or have your friend take a photo with them. Uh, I honestly can't remember the name of them, but most of these places that I'm talking about are listed in our uh, huge guide of things to do in Sofia and I'm already going to link it below so you can check there, but hello dudes photo st codex store um, I'm looking for some vintage Soviet lenses I think I mentioned that on this channel before I definitely mentioned that on my other one but I'm trying to find some vintage Soviet lenses that would have been that are very common here because Bulgaria imported Soviet goods but are not like but people buy them at home on eBay so I'm gonna and some of the older like smaller non uh, like big photography stores sell the little old vintage lenses so I'm gonna go in and see if I can find any It's a cool little store, but everything's new. It's having a hard time deciding what exactly I want to do if I'm ready to pack it in. I think what I'm going to do is walk to a restaurant, eat a lunch out. I'm like, huh. Anyway, um, I'm in City Park right now. That was Ivan Vazov National Theater. There's like a sweet accordion player over there. I feel bad. I didn't have any coins to give him. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite little corners of Sofia. Uh, it's very prominent, like very touristy. Well, not, it's not super touristy. It's like Sophians use it as like a living room when the weather's nice and I have a feeling that'll last longer this year and then also the Christmas market is here if there's going to be a Christmas market though it looks like they might be setting up for it um so it's like just it's not necessarily touristy but like everybody knows about it everybody comes here when the Pope spoke you spoke like a few blocks over there and I have a video of that that was cool on my Facebook page um so I'm gonna yeah I think I'm gonna walk Maybe grab some lunch and then start work. If
Sorry, I had to get cash. me off across the street from the office so I'm gonna get some work done the rest of the day and uh, thanks for talking with me on my walk around the city and I'm gonna let you go now if you like this video if you want to learn more about what it's like to live in Bulgaria or if you want to see our move back to America you can subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell like this video if you enjoyed it it really does help this is obviously a new channel and I want people to find it and uh, thanks so much for watching ciao